so in one of my vlogmas videos i did a little yarn haul i mentioned that i was going to be doing the starflake make along held by mandy of mouse's makes that was going to start in january i mentioned that i was going to take part in that and i bought two skeins of stylecraft special four ply in the colorway silver to go for that shawl but you need two colors for that um project so i decided i wanted to try out dyeing and i was going to dye up my own skeins for the second contrast color so today i'm going to be working on that i have got some undyed skeins of yarn i bought two five packs so they are 100 grams for ply yarn, 400 meters, which Charlie is very interested in. So I got two of them packs and I wanted to try and dye up two skeins for the Starflake make along. I'm going to take you along with me. I have never dyed anything before. Most of the stuff that I have purchased has either been on sale um from charity shops i've been looking around for a good couple of weeks now trying to get the best deals on everything so there's a mix and bowl that i got from a charity shop um the masks that i was wearing the dust ones to um for when you're using the powders they were actually reduced down from six pounds to 75p in wilco's for three pack so can't complain with that things like um the tablecloth that i used on the um that i put down to stop anything getting on the work surfaces it's christmas themed it's wiped clean so it's reusable but because it's christmas themed it was discounted because we've now gone past christmas so yeah i've been trying to keep cost low down on everything like that so i'm going to dye two skeins up for the starflake but i didn't just want to do two skeins of yarn to get all the stuff out it just felt really frustrating i'm like oh foot. Do I just want to get two? Do I want to get all the stuff out just for two skeins and try with just for two, um for the two skeins? So no, I have picked a project that I want to do at some point this year. I'd love to do it. It's the Primera top. Um, I will link the patterns that I'm talking about down in the description box below, and I'll link Mandy because she's hosting the stuff like Make Along, um, in the description box below, and yeah. Um, I decided I wanted to do the Plumeria. I wasn't. I've been inspired to do colours like that, inspired by the heart of the ocean. So that um, necklace, that type of colours that's worn on Titanic, the blues in it, the sapphires sort of thing. Um, so I am gonna try and do something up with that colourway, and then the Starflake. It is gonna be just a few different colours, and let's see how things turn out. It's all gonna be trial and error. I have worked out how many skeins I do need for the Plumeria in my size. So that'll take up the full five pack. And yeah, I'm really excited to get started and get dying and take you all along with me. So let's see how I do. Hopefully it doesn't go too bad. Fingers crossed. <laughs>
cleared up all the work surfaces behind me which was where I was doing um, the dyeing so that's all sorted it's all cleaned up the yarn has all been rinsed through both sets and they are just drying the blue skeins are most of it's dried to touch it's just a bit damp in patches so what I have done is I've got the maiden out and I've put that over the maiden the um trying to think of the words now abby words the multicolored skein um that is still dripping a bit it's all dripping clear water when i was rinsing out in the tap it did it was not having any colors come out through it so at the moment that's looking okay but it is just dripping so what i have done is um we actually filled up the dogs i filled up the dogs um dog food earlier on today um and when i was filling that up um it comes with a big bag that is plastic so it's like completely waterproof so what i have done is with the packet i have laid it out on the floor so that will stop any water droplets that may have any bit of color landing on the thing um and it'll just keep the floor dry i was going to put a towel down but we don't have any black towels and again, because I'm going to go to bed now, I didn't want to risk waking up in the morning and just seeing drops of colour all over a towel. Um, yeah, so I have um, got that drying, leave that overnight, hopefully in the morning it will be dry and I will be able to show you all what it looks like. But I must say, I am really loving it at the moment and I'll give my full review on, you know, what I liked, what I could have done better and all that sort of stuff in the morning well it'll be a few seconds for you but it'll be in the morning for me see you in a minute hi everyone so the yarn is dried so this oops, oh, try not to knock it everywhere this is the blue yarn i've dyed up i would have ideally liked it a bit darker with maybe like some navy speckles in but again learning curve i like the color change on it um i just wish there wasn't that i didn't want any of it to be white saying that they're not white they're just a very pale blue but again first time going and i can always over dye it it's the right color it's the blue i wanted it just made me bit darker in places so i might over dye that at some point in the future um when i'm next getting my dye stuff out i know oh over dye this um all three skeins came out like that the camera is not doing it justice i will try and take some good pictures later on um to um put i'll post them on the video um yeah because i can edit the if the lighting's not perfect i can sort of edit the coloring on the videos to where they are remotely like what the skins look like done then the next one is this one here that bit should be over there there you go so the next one is this one it has got a bit tangled up in some places a bit so what i'm gonna do is i am gonna cake these up right away um with my cake winder but it's got these gorgeous pinks in that go into yellows that go into blues and then back round again i really love how it's come out 
there's not really much place where I've missed the colours. I did want it to run into each other, so I'm quite happy with how that came out. I am really enjoying it. I really, really enjoy it. Really like that. And then here's the second one. I don't know how to do that thing where you want to walk into skeins properly and when trying to dry these <laughs> it, oh, drying them was a bit difficult i've never done it before and obviously it wasn't warm so i couldn't just hang it on the line and some parts just took forever to dry so that is how it's looking so with parts of it coming a bit undone in, uh, here there and everywhere so what i'm gonna do is just put it in the cakes and then that way it's not gonna get tangled up but again yeah i'm pretty happy like here's where the under bit was and there's not you know much bits where i've missed with color so overall not too bad to been there that was the blue bit i've not missed much um overall i like how it turned out i'm gonna be interested to see how it works up um i'm excited to get it um where's abby i'm excited to start knitting it up so yeah i'm gonna cake these up and let's see how it goes from there that's pretty accurate there like that so i'm gonna cake them up and that'll be it i hope you've enjoyed coming along with me as i've attempted to dye yarn for the first time um this one was definitely the more successful one the blue didn't turn out 100% how I wanted it to but again because it is just blue it's all one colour it's come out on the right thing um then you know it's just going to be sort of easiest to just um over dye it this was more like I went into I went into dyeing the blue with an expectation of the colour I wanted whereas with this it was just more Let's test out the colours and see how they turn out. So, yeah, I really like how that's come out. So, um, so yeah, hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all staying safe and taking care. And I will speak to you all on Friday. Mm -hmm.